Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, my cousins Ayat and Tazim are visiting us here in New Jersey from Toronto, Canada. They will join me in my show and I will do a Tajweed session about Surat Al Fil. My name is Tazim and I am here to learn Quran from Maryam. I am Ayat. I am here to see Maryam show. Now let's start the Tajweed session, okay? Okay. Do, do you guys know Surat Al Fil? No. You don't? No. Should I recite it? Yes. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil fil أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلٍ وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٍ تَرْمِيهِمْ بِحِجَارَةٍ مِّنْ سِجِّيلٍ فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَعَصْفٍ مَأْكُولٍ now I will explain to you all the Tajweed rules in this surah, okay? Yes. Do you know what is Tajweed? No. Do you, Ayat? No. You don't? Okay, I'll explain to you. Tajweed is the rules that you find in the Quran. To recite the Quran, there are like some rules that you need to say. You can't just say it any way you want. So those rules that you have to say are called Tajweed, okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'll explain all those rules, or you could say Tajweed from Surat Al Fil. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Do you guys know how to read Arabic? No. No? Okay, let me read it. It says Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al-fil. So here there is um there's only one rule. It's over here. Let me do it with a different marker. The rule is over here. This rule is called Maddul Arid, okay? So when you have Maddul Arid, you have to stretch it a little bit. So you have to stretch it four to six harakah. So you would say, Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al-fil. You see how I stretched it? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, okay? Now you try. Uh, alam. Alam. Tara. Tara. Kaifa. Kaifa. Fala. Fala. Rabbuka. Rabbuka. Bi ashabi. Bi ashabi. Al fil. Al fil. Don't forget to stretch it. Al fil. Al fil. Good job. So now I will go on to the next ayah. Alam ya jal ke dahum fi tabli.
Okay. So, in this ayah, we have alam yajal. So, here's another rule, okay? Over here, you see the sukun on the jim? Sukunawa. The sukun on the jim, right? Yeah. The circle? Yeah, that means that over there, you have to do kolkola. That's another rule. So, when you have to do kolkola, you kind of have to vibrate the sound. Like you say, alam yajal. Like you make it a little bit vibration there. Repeating like Alam Yajal. Try it. Alam Yajal. Alam Yajal. Alam Ajalam. No, it's not Ajalam. It's Yajal. Yeah, like that. And then there. Yajal. Okay, and there's another rule. Now, Lil, over here, there's that same rule that we saw last time. Do you remember what it's called? You have to stretch. Yeah, you have to stretch, but do you know the name? Uh, Medul Arid. Okay, so you have to stretch it there. So, let's say the ayah together. Alam? Yaja'al? Kaidahum? Kaidahum? Fi? Fi? Dabli? Dabli. Okay. Now let's go to the next guy. Okay, the next guy. Wa arsala alayhim tayran ababil. Okay, so in this ayah we have another two rules. Wa arsala alayhim tayran ababil. So when you when you see the connection from tayran and ababil, so there's the two letters here are the ra and the alif, right? And there's this tanween on the ra, right? The two lines. Yeah. Yeah. This is called uh, what it's called ilhar. So when you have this, you just keep you just do it how it says, so you don't change anything. Tayran ababil. Tayran ababil. Yeah, good. Okay, now let's. Oh, there's another one here. Again, it's the same one. Do you remember? Right. Yeah, the stretching one. It's called madul arid. Madul. Okay. So, wa arsala. Wa arsala. Alayhim. Alayhim. Tayran. Tayran. Ababil. Ababil. Good job. Now we have ayah number four. Tar me him be he jaratim. Um, okay, tar me him be he jaratim. Okay. Okay, so here we have a lot of rules in this ayah, okay? So we have Tarmihim bihijara, this is a rule. So from the mean to the ba, you know the connection over there? It's called ikhfa shafawi because you have to put like a little bit of ghunna. So you have to go like Tarmihim bihijaratim, like that, okay? Say it? Tarmihim. Yeah, like that. And then, and then, um, 
Here we have bihijaratim mim. So this is uh, No, this is called ghunna. Uh, this is also ghunna, so you have to press it here. So you say bihijaratim mim. Like the same thing. Bihijaratim mim. Say it? Bihijaratim mim. Bihijaratim mim. Bihi Jaratim Jaratim Min Min Yeah, like that And here Mil Sijil So the Sukun And since the Sukun The Nun Sukun is followed after the scene You're gonna have an Ikhfa there So it's gonna be Mil Sijil You don't say the Nun clearly You say Mil Sijil Try it Min Mil Mil Sijil yeah, and here again we have that rule. Do you remember? Mm. No, no, the stretching one. Oh, the yeah. name? Madalarit. Okay. See this. This ayah has lots of rules. So let's say, Tarmihim. Tarmihim. Bihijaratim. Bihijaratim. Min sijil. Min sijil. Okay. Good job. Now we have the last ayah. فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَعَصْفٍ Okay, so in this ayah we have فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَعَصْفٍ مَأْكُولٍ Again, we have to press here, it's غُنَّة So, because it's uh, تَنْوِينَ And then here's Meem with Shadda So you have to say كَعَصْفٍ مَأْكُولٍ كَعَصْفٍ مَأْكُولٍ And here on this Oh, I forgot to circle it. And on this alif, you see the circle thing again, right? That circle thing is called sukun. And when you have the sukun on top of a hamza, then you have to give a little bit like jark there. So you have to say ma'kul. Ma'kul. Yeah. And here we have that stretching rule again. There's a lot of the stretching rules, right? Yeah. In every ayah, we found a stretching rule. So let's say it together. Sajalahum. Gasfim Makul. Okay. That's the whole surah. So now with all the rules, I'm gonna say it one more time, okay? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alam Tara Kaifa Fala Rabbu Kabi Ashabil Fi. أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلٍ وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٍ تَرْمِيهِمْ بِحِجَارَةٍ مِّنْ سِجِّيلٍ فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَعَصْفٍ Cool. Tazim and Aya, did you have fun? Yes. Aya, did you learn something new? Yes, I learned a lot. And Tazim, are you going to learn this surah soon, inshallah? Inshallah, I will remember I should have Inshallah. Thank you everyone for watching my video. And I hope to see you soon, inshallah. Jazakumullahu khairan wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.